In its development history, SpaceX has introduced many of its crazy ideas, which have surprised and amazed the world. Among them, the Raptor engine is one of their greatest masterpieces. When mentioning the Raptor family, we often pay attention to Raptor 2, the version being used today. Just with this version, Starship has become the most powerful rocket in the world today. But in the Raptor family, there are many other monsters that are much stronger than Raptor 2. In May, SpaceX tested Raptor 3 and showed crazy statistics. Most of us think it is already the most powerful Raptor version. Surprisingly, in the past, there was another version that was conceptualized by Elon Musk and SpaceX with power even superior to Raptor 3, called Raptor Elite 1337. In the development route of Starship, it seems to have been forgotten. But after the recent Starship orbital test flight, perhaps this is the time for us to talk about it and hope for a new miracle from SpaceX. So, what are the special features of this Raptor engine version? How great is its power? Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in this episode of Alpha Tech. It can be said with its current power, Raptor 2 is strong enough to beat most current operational engines. But this engine version is just like a younger brother in its formidable family. In the past, Elon Musk and SpaceX came up with the idea of a powerful version worthy of the title of Big Brother in the Raptor family. It is the Raptor Elite 1337 version. Specifically, in October 2021, Elon Musk and the Raptor engineering team led by Jake McKenzie initiated a surge effort to develop a conceptual design for a new rocket engine with the goal of keeping costs below $1,000 per ton of thrust. The engine version was called the Leap 1337. Musk stated that this lower cost engine would be the fundamental breakthrough needed to make life multiplanetary. Compared to the versions being used today, it has many special characteristics. In this version, Elon Musk and SpaceX plan to remove important parts like the hot fuel gas manifold and merge the fuel pump with the main chamber injector. Other parts that are easy to have problems like tubes, manifolds, and sensors can also be deleted. This is probably based on Elon Musk's famous quote, The best part is no part. The best process is no process. Weighs nothing, costs nothing, can't go wrong. Thanks to its simple design, the weight of the Raptor Elite 1337 will be significantly lighter than the current version. Its mass is estimated at 1,100 kilograms, half a ton lighter than the Raptor 2 version. With its light mass, the overall mass of the Starship will be reduced and SpaceX can use that mass to expand the payload capacity of their rocket. In terms of production speed, the simple design will help SpaceX easier produce and repair engines. In this version, SpaceX can increase production capacity 10 times compared to the current scale, reaching 4,000 engines per year or about 11 engines per day. The cost of manufacturing the engine will also drop to a crazy number, only about $100,000 to $200,000. According to estimates, even if Starship increases to nine engines, their cost will only be from $1.8 to $3.6 million if using the Elite 1337 version. Too cheap for a big and powerful vehicle like Starship. With that potential, how about its performance? Yeah, you'll be surprised again. It has a higher chamber pressure and much greater thrust than the current version, Raptor 2 and even the Raptor 3 version that was just tested this year. Specifically, its thrust can be up to 320 tons or about 705,000 pounds, 40% more powerful than the current Raptor 2 version. When these engines are installed in the Super Heavy Booster, 33 engines will produce a thrust of more than 10,500 tons or more than 23 million pounds. Crazy! Besides the increase in thrust, this engine version will also reach a chamber pressure of up to 450 bar, a record that no other engine has achieved. Sadly, efforts to create this engine version stopped that year. However, the upcoming version, Raptor 3, is considered to incorporate many ideas from this version. Although SpaceX cannot immediately create a version like Leet 1337, we still see that they are taking steady steps on the path of developing their engine based on the principle of simpler to be more powerful. This is easy to recognize when we put the Raptor engine generations next to each other. 
the most typical comparison will be Raptor 1 and Raptor 2. Compared to Raptor 1, Raptor 2 looks significantly neater and simpler. This is because most complex parts like the turbo machinery, nozzle, and electronics chamber, and sensors were all removed or redesigned. This also helps the Raptor 2 engine weight to be lighter than the Raptor 1. Although much simpler, the power of the Raptor 2 is increased. With a thrust of 230 tons or 510,000 pounds, it was 25% more powerful than its predecessor. Its capabilities were demonstrated during Starship flights. Raptor 2 is getting stronger and more stable after each flight. In particular, during the recent second orbital test flight, 33 engines created a huge thrust of more than 7,000 tons while creating an extremely rare effect in rockets. Mock Diamond Along with more than a thousand other changes that SpaceX made after the April flight, Raptor 2 helped that flight last longer and fly to a higher altitude than previous flights. Based on that strategy, in the future, the third generation of the Raptor family, Raptor 3, will soon be released with many improvements compared to Raptor 2. It will be lighter than Raptor 2 with a weight of only about 1,400 kilograms. In May, it was tested and reached crazy statistics. Its thrust is up to 269 tons or 590,000 pounds, and the chamber pressure is up to 350 bar. This makes it 18% more powerful than the current version. Besides the versions we already know, recently, Elon Musk surprisingly made another interesting revelation about an unknown new gen of engine. In his tweet on November 21st, Elon Musk said he was very excited about the next-gen Raptor engine. The new engines will not require heat shields, more thrust, higher ISP, and many other changes. The engine heat shields are components designed to protect vulnerable parts of the engine like electrical wires, injector systems, fuel pumps, and hot air ducts. These are parts that are easily affected by the temperature and pressure generated by the engines. The heat shields will help prevent those influences, keeping the aforementioned parts safe and protecting them from braking and fuel leaking that can damage the engine. If SpaceX removes these heat shields, it means they have also made upgrades to make those parts durable enough to withstand the influences of the energy generated by the Raptor. In fact, this upgrade has been carried out before, especially during the period between two orbital test flights. During the first flight, the upper parts of the engines were greatly affected, causing them to leak fuel. That's what caused the engines to stop working during that flight. SpaceX immediately realized and reinforced them. Thanks to that, the second Starship flight achieved many great strides. This change also has many other advantages. It will help reduce the mass of the vehicle, one of the goals that SpaceX always applies to their vehicles. Removing one component will also make the engine design simpler, reducing the testing, installation, and repair time, as well as help SpaceX speed up their engine production progress. In addition, when removing the heat shields, the engine's operating area will be wider, helping it operate more flexibly. It is still unclear whether this new version is related to Raptor 3 or Raptor Elite 1337, or will be a completely new version. Let's wait for more detailed revelations from Elon and SpaceX. There will still be many challenges for SpaceX to reach milestones of a powerful version like Raptor Elite 1337. However, we can still admit that SpaceX is right in its engine development strategy. New versions are getting simpler and more powerful, reaching limits we never thought of. After Raptor 3, maybe many more versions will be introduced. Meanwhile, although Raptor Elite 1337 is just an idea, a design in the past, it will still be the goal that SpaceX is aiming for and wants to realize in the future. The last Starship flight gave us the most impressive moments in recent years. Let's wait for the new Raptor versions to appear and create even more incredible moments. Those moments will help us create a separate chapter in the story of Mars colonization, the chapter called Raptor Engine. That's all for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.